in here. What was that? <laughs> Rise and shine, folks! Is everybody okay? I almost spilled my coffee. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll, I'll have to check the readings, but that may have been our biggest quake yet. Standard procedure. Newhart, you know what to do. If there's any critical damage to the base, let me know. Yeah, okay. Uh, no problem. Dr. Van Buren, you will assist me at the landing site for the Cyrano. Declan, you're on comms. Find any system issues, relay them to Shane. Aye, aye, Captain. Switch to a private frequency, Declan. No chatter on open channels. Over and out. Private channel time. Declan, I am buckled in and headed to the solar panel array. Well, now you've got nothing to do but listen to me. Just when my migraine was starting to clear up. I'm actually glad to have the Cyrano landing today. Some fresh faces, and supplies, and distractions. Everyone's so on edge lately. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining it. These dreams are starting to get to me. Yeah, you're not the only one having strange dreams there, Ace. You too? Oh yeah. I mean, put yourself in my shoes. You log out after your shift, eat some rehydrated meatloaf, and bunk down for the night. But the second you fall asleep, it feels like you're back at your desk and you hear the static again. Calibrate, more static, calibrate, then something sounds different, it's a pattern, you start decoding it, it's gibberish, but the static keeps talking. It wants you to hear the symbols. Base. Yeah, don't, don't worry about me, big guy. They're just dreams. Yeah, and uh, then I wake up and there's scribbled notes around me. It feels like I haven't slept at all. All right, I showed you mine, now lay it on me. Dreams, nightmares, fantasies, your deepest, darkest fears. Let's hear it. Sorry, I just pulled up to the office. I'll have to get back to you on all that. Eh, suit yourself. The anticipation is killing me. Okay, elevator's not working. Someone must have borrowed a power cell. Declan. I'm heading up to the perilous rocky pathway. Power cell for the elevator is missing. Have fun. Oh, hey, just got an update from Commander Wilcox. Landing site preparations are underway. Also, she told me to clean up my shit at the comms tower. <laughs> she didn't want to scare off the new recruits. I like Josie. Shane, what is the situation at the solar site? Panels are out of alignment again. 
Until the Cyrano gets here, I don't have the parts to test. Can't confirm the issue 100%. All right, just so you know, anything breaks around here and I've got four Orochi execs on my ass. If you want to explain to them why a multi-million dollar piece of equipment is being manually adjusted every day, be my guest. But we have a mission and I'd rather focus on that, not fucking filling out paperwork. Copy? Copy. Not your fault, but after the Cyrano lands, no excuses. Get it done. Over and out. Looking good. Power should be back on. Uh, Shane, I've got good news and bad news. Good news, I think we just found water on Mars. Bad news, it is spraying all over the greenhouse. <sighs> Restoring power must have triggered the pumps, and I'm showing significant pressure loss across the system. Can't be cut off remotely? Nope, sorry, cowboy. This is a job that requires your hands-on expertise. All right, heading back now. Hey, still fighting that headache? Yeah, I still can't shake that dream. Part of it was a memory from when I was a kid. Weird. It was the last birthday party my mom was around for. She left not long after that. Do you know what happened to her? Not really. It was big news when she disappeared. She was a big shot theoretical mathematician. Oh yeah, everyone knows Dr. Newhart. I mean, I had to read engineering dimensions in grad school. All I know is, the day after my birthday, I head downstairs for breakfast, and I couldn't find her. The basement door was wide open. It was the only place she could be, I thought, so I went down. There was a, uh, like a, well, she wasn't there, or anywhere. We searched for years. Wow. <laughs> Feels like I'm back in therapy. Well, no better place to tackle your problems than from 130 million miles away, right? Declan, the greenhouse is definitely in a sorry state. This has got to be fixed before the Cyrano lands. Well, the major issue is the water reclaimer. Now I'm reading it as offline. Work your magic. Should have sent the plumber. What a mess. I gotta keep an eye on that steam so I don't get burned. Shit! Dr. Volkova? What was that? Ina, the entire mangrove root structure is contaminated. There is a viscous black substance like oil. It seems like it's spreading. It is not contaminated. It is changing, evolving. It's beautiful. It is reborn. This doesn't look right. Oh, constant interruptions. I do not have time to explain myself to you. Holy shit! Ina! Dr. Volkova, where are you? Something is seriously wrong. The infection is everywhere. Not infection. It's evolution. Adaptation. Perfection. My children, they grow so quickly. Wrapped in creeping rootstocks. Where sap and blood coagulate. Do not fight it. Allow it to blossom. A first in human history. The merging of two life forms. Something is loose. Uh, something? What something? I don't know yet. Okay, I'll contact Wilcox at the landing site. She'll get Lucas to talk. He should know what Volkov has been doing in there. Just 
Hang tight and get that reclaimer online. What the hell? Declan, are you there? Declan! God damn it, Declan! Oh, uh, what is that? There's a horrible creature in the greenhouse. It tried to kill me. Do not return to base. Does anyone read me? Ina, Lucas, Commander Wilcox. I've got to warn them. If I can get to Declan at the satellite station, we can try to re-establish communications. What the fuck? Declan? There's something wrong. Where did everything go? Oh my god, why is it glowing? The orb is reacting to my hand. Shit! What's going on? Why is this happening?
never seen this room before. Was mom really keeping this thing down here? I remember her being an eccentric, but not like this. These symbols. They're similar to the ones on the altar. off that dream God, it felt so real the hair on the back of my neck is still standing on end oh Jesus now this is crazy who would even write all this This is bad. I'm sorry, Declan. I didn't know how bad it was. He can't stay alone out here anymore. He needs help. Josie was right. Jesus, I didn't know it was like this. How does he live like this? Whoa, what is that? Holy shit! No, 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 no. Oh my god, please just be a meteor. Oh my god. Come on, someone respond! Please! All hands on deck, situation. Crash landed. Oh my god. Commander Wilcox, where are you? 
something. Newhart? Do you copy? There is a creature roaming Trailblazer Alpha. Do not return to base. Repeat, do not. I can't hear you. You're coming out. We are at base. We need to investigate the Cyrano crash site. No, 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 no. Commander Wilcox. Wilcox. Please contact a qualified associate. No, go down! What the hell? Oh shit! Ah! Looks like the only way down is to jump. This is gonna hurt. Declan? Shane! Oh, shit! Shane! You're all right! Fuck. First good news in a while. Declan, there is something at the base. It's some kind of... alien. A, a monster. We know. Lucas said it had something to do with Volkova's research, so I don't think we can claim credit for discovering aliens. You saw it? Shane, we got emergencies upon emergencies right now. The Cyrano fell out of the sky like a rock. Oh my god. I didn't want to believe it. I'm with Josie and the Meerkat heading out to the crash site to look for survivors. Lucas volunteered to stay behind at the base, but it's in really bad shape, man. The mangrove tree? Its roots are everywhere. Taking over. All right. What can I do? 
Lucas said he had a pretty good idea what happened and a way to stop it at the source. Find Lucas and help him. He should be in the research lab. I'm glad you're all right, man. Please stay that way. Holy shit, the whole base is infected. Okay. Lucas. Lucas. Of course no response. Oh, shit. The research lab is completely blocked by a, a polyp. Hold tight, Lucas. There has to be a way to get rid of it. Can't touch the walls, can't open the doors. It's the recipe for a plant poison. Well, if Lucas thought it would do something to the tree, I should do the same. I need to find and mix different vials at the centrifuge. That did it. Declan, a little hope. Lucas is AWOL, but he was working on a poison. I've got the compound to test out. Not much but scorched metals and detritus out here. They start cataloging, but we're not salvaging. We're walking around a crime scene. Damn it. Lucas. Declan. Lucas is dead. Lucas is fucking dead. Oh, God, no. He's completely covered in that black fluid. It's everywhere. Pulsing. It's, it's on the walls, on the floor. It's, it's like it knew. Hey, hey, hey. Breathe, Shane. You're not gonna die. Nobody else is gonna die. We just have to keep going. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. I can't deal with this. Declan, I have what I need. I'm going into the greenhouse. Though I'm not sure what to do from there. Uh, dump the poison in the water reclaimer? The reclaimer would... No, you're on the right track. I need to hit it at the source. If I can get to the water filtration system, inject it there, the whole system is poisoned. It could work. Declan, there's no helmet in this airlock. And the only way to the greenhouse is from the outside. Okay, what about the other airlocks? They're completely overgrown. Two seconds, door opening. Approximately 50 meters. Another two seconds, atmosphere. 10 seconds. Oh, shit, I know what you're thinking, but I can't. Your earplugs will prevent your drums from rupturing. Exhale completely. You'll have to sprint. It's only minus 19 Celsius and no risk of frostbite. It's theoretically possible. This is the worst idea ever. <laughs> Check in. I'm here. Uh, I'm freezing. Headache is back. My ears are ringing. I should be dead. Jesus, slow down. Fuck, catch your breath, please. Are you good? Tell me you're good. Can you walk at least? I'm still standing. Hoping I'm not going into shock. I lost 40 years in 10 seconds. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll get you looked at as soon as we can. Hang in there. It's gotten worse, Declan. Way worse. I'm going to the water purifiers. I hope it'll be enough. Okay, well, after what you just did, you better fucking kill that thing.
there's a body here. Jesus. The impact site is a smoldering mess, and we don't really have the time or the equipment to search through all this. Are you all right? Yeah. Mars sucks. Whoa. Declan, it really didn't like that. The poison is already polluting the water supply. Oh, that's a win. Now get up to the environmental control console and dump the entire reservoir on that bastard. Uh, Shane, we found something. Josie saw a door along the escarpment near the crash site. She wants to check it out. A door? Carved out of the cliff. It's massive. I told her we need the recon with you, but she's fixated on this. Orochi has secrets upon secrets. It, it is Orochi, right? Apparently, we're going to find out. Did that do it? No, it's still alive. But I can get closer now. This thing won't stop. Maybe if I pump the last dose and what is that? Ah, hello, little flesh bag. one of its main arteries. That worked! It's getting weaker! Just keep going! I'll destroy Declan, it's Volkova. She's being controlled by the tree. She is the tree. What the hell? How? The tree, her, her specimens, the black infection everywhere. She's not even human anymore. Kill me. Please. Kill me. Access Ina's files. I just saw Ina the other day. She wasn't like this. Shane, focus. The Cyrano crash, the black oil, the plant life expanding exponentially. This doorway, it's all connected. Where are you? I'm coming. I'm getting out of here. No. You need to access Ina's computer and find out exactly what she was up to. My God, are you kidding me? Shane, think. The Cyrano is gone, and our resupply with it. If the main base goes down, we're all dead. If Volkova's research still poses a threat, we need to know. You want to find out what she was up to? You come and do it yourself. I don't care. Hey, listen, I know. I know you've been through a lot. I'm sorry. We all have. You're right. I bet the seats on the rover are just unbearable. Hey, listen, buddy. I've spent all afternoon picking up whatever pieces I could find on the Cyrano crew. Don't act like you're the only one who's having a tough day. Anytime you want to trade places, you be my guest. Oh, Fuck off! Enough! Both of you! Dr. Newhart, do you read me? Commander Wilcox. Your primary objective is to assess any further threat to the base. Volkova was clearly hiding things from us. 
use your security clearance to obtain whatever information you can find. You are to remain at base and radio your findings to your off-site team. Copy? Yes. Copy. We're headed to the cliffside doorway. If there's proof of intelligent life on Mars, I want to know. I want everyone to know. Declan, you're on comms. Got it. Hey, uh... Sorry to be a dick. Yeah, me too. All right. I can do this. I mean, if I were to start somewhere, it'd be able to call this computer. Right. I'll check with her station in the research lab. Maybe she left a note or something. You got this. on a pedestal. If they found a way inside, there's there's going to be a record of it. I'll see what I can find out. Declan, I'm standing by a window overlooking a room filled with pods containing androids. I thought it was automated sensors or something, but there must be hundreds of these things on Mars. What are they doing? Everything here. This is the hub of their Mars expansion plans. was approached by Orochi. They interrogated her. What else are they hiding in this Project Icarus? Did they find her research? Did they find her? I need to know. I don't know, man, but I sure as hell wouldn't stick around long enough to find out. They hide like rats under the floorboards. Stick the tentacles where they cannot. I have seen where they root, sliver like snakes amongst the leaves. My god. It's completely taken over. Filth! Seething tendrils of a hive, ever expanding! Fools! They cannot be contained! Stop it! Get out of my head! You could crack open your helmet like a walnut. Let it meet. And my voices will still be there. Not in the spaces we know, but in between. Only discarded pieces block the path. Rain synapses. Unanswered. of us. The entire Invictus crew. Are we the originals? The copies. It doesn't end. Split from a single scene. 
Germinated, scribbled on carbon paper, they multiply like vermin. Sentience is a glitch in the sensory organs. Pain, a cancer fed by reality. One by one, they fell to madness and death, just like a child. So... Keeping here. New Eden. Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no escape. The dream will consume them. They are inevitable. Thing. Family therapist's office. I can still smell the musty leather sofa in the corner. My parents took me here when I started having night terrors. Yes. We may not agree on the finer points, but I can't let it go. He always used to say, Cynthia, your brain has its own mouth.
Mom's seminal work. The one that solidified her reputation and reinvented the field of quantum engineering. The ability to harness dimensional shifts, equations to predict fluctuations in time. Not just on the subatomic level. She was a genius. Feels like so long ago. Access the space between dreams. Excellent try, Gloria. However, while the roads of Agartha do traverse the vastness of time and space, the corridors between dreams are a separate sort of passageway, and the two only intersect in very rare places. That's very cutting edge, Adam, and while the full answer to that is quite complex, that is still incorrect. Distinctive answer, Rupert. That is an interesting theological paradox, but it is wrong. Very good. The answer is the dreaming ones. The dreaming ones were, the dreaming ones are, the dreaming ones shall be. Not in the spaces we know. But between, they walk serene and primal, undimensioned and to us unseen. They can teach us deep knowledge, secrets past the skin of eternity. I'm having a hard time noticing when it's happening. Yesterday, I saw a light streaming through the kitchen window, a moat. Illuminated, suspended in the air. I spent the remainder of the day in my office researching. I've been accused of isolating myself. To describe the universe, words that no one else could ever know. Surprise, I struggle with domesticity, but I had to make a choice. I'm so I had to try. Shame is my purpose. Once you open the book, it's already too late. It's always too late! Orochi contacted me this week. They've approached me several times in my They knew more about the Red Planet. Twins. They suspected a great many.
We'll find out just how dead <clears throat> Why are you doing this? They cannot awaken. The moons bend above us. It is all but a brilliant equation. Please, I need you to help me. I thought I am. I was. I will. God damn it, who are you? Shane, I'm sorry, Shane. I've made so many mistakes. You were never supposed to be here. Ma Mom? Why are you... How did you get here? My curiosity led me here. The pages of the Necronomicon revealed a mathematics I had never encountered, and a pathway to the dream world. I didn't know that once I made the choice, I could never return. The decision has weighed on me ever since. Weighed on you? Do you have any idea what that did to us? To Dad? When you left, it broke him. We searched for you for years. Shane, please, listen. Has it been you this whole time? In the base, haunting the crew? Driving us crazy with these nightmares? Stop! The struggle tears at my soul. It takes every ounce of concentration I have to remain here. I need your help, son. We must act quickly. When the ship passed between the moons, the twin dreamers were disturbed in their slumber. All the chaos you've witnessed, the filth, that creeping horror is only a fraction of the destruction that it can bring. If they corrupt the engine, the moons of Mars, the dreaming ones will awaken and they will devour all of reality. You left me. You left us for a delusion. What the fuck do you care about reality? Reality is where my son lives. What do I need to do? Find the Gaia engine. I will help you do what must be done. Help me, Shane. Help me undo what has been set in motion. Please don't leave again. Don't worry. We'll solve this together. Declan! Sorry, I, I, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, there's so much more down there, Declan. Clones, mind control, the dreamers, the dreaming ones. Declan, we have to find the Gaia engine. It's the only thing holding them back. 
everything, the, the filth, the, the nightmares, my, my hallucinations, they're connected. We need to find the engine. Okay, okay, okay. Shane, slow down. We're inside. You need to get here as soon as possible. Hell if I'm staying here. We have to find it. Okay, okay. We'll find this machine. Because as much as I don't have any idea what you're talking about, it makes more fucking sense than anything else that's happened today. Oh my god. I'm arriving at the door now. It's massive. Yeah, these stone carvings must be thousands of years old. The records of excavation you found in Argus? This must be the place. I'll meet you inside. I came here to learn from the ancients, travelers at the nexus of the dream world. The Gaia engine they discovered, that immaculate machine spans both dimensions, it powered their entire civilization, gave them pure vision, sight through time, knowledge unencumbered, and with all the good that intense light and power brings, there's always someone or something wants to claim it for their own. I craved it. The knowledge consumed me. And I learned and I saw. These neural shame. It's a warning they left here long ago. If we let the filth take over the Gaia engine, the universe is left to the whims of ancient beings awakening from a million year slumber. You and I, we are the final guardians. We must repair what has been broken. Reality will cease to exist. There's something under the ground here. It's, it's shifting through the sand. Get off the sand, Declan. <clears throat> Declan! Holy shit! <clears throat> Keep moving! Keep fucking moving! I've ever seen. I'm coming. Hold on. What is this place? They found it. They found the engine. Cross the threshold. You must reach them. I can feel it crawling underneath the stone. Runes. A language. A key, maybe. Your eyes. They are forever open, never blinking until they crack like eggs and reappear. Declan, snap out of it! Here, take this. Uh, what am I supposed to do with it?
hell is that thing? <laughs> the sand is shaking. Not good. Tremors. What are these? <sighs> Symbols. Language. Uh, an unlocking mechanism? Declan, what are you doing? That. That did something. Holy shit, it's spinning faster. It, it's working. Oh my god. Do that again. Just gotta get off the sand. The moons loom above us, drawing closer together with every second. No! Josie! No, 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 no. Declan! Declan! Fuck, this can't be happening. The moons, their language, it bends across you the dimensions. Trust it her. wrote, like the remaining she, pillars she and charged the ruling machine. Its glow will restore the barrier. Think. She doesn't deserve you. They told me to load it into the Invictus. I feel safe. They said I'd know when to use it. Said I'd know if I should. <laughs> well, it's now, Shane. It's you. I won't be coming along, buddy. Save the world, man. And tell your mom to fuck off for me. Sorry. I was too late. I'll finish this. This is the end. You can't let your friends die in vain. You have to complete what they have started. I cannot do it alone, Shane. My form, it shifts in the in-between. I will guide you. Be my hands. I'm ready.
illuminate the ancient machine while there's still time. Hurry, Shane. I'm counting on you. You must. You must. Tendrils of filth slither along the spine of time. They thrust themselves into the ether, tear at the fabric. Just one more. Do it, Shane. You are the key. Wondrous light. Return for us. Bridge the dimensions. Light and shadow. Repair the drifting, shining, luminous. Do you hear it singing? It sings, Shane. I can feel it. The energy. It's weakening. must not align. Go, my son. It shines with the brightness of infinite knowledge. Do not fear it. No, your friends, they died to help you finish what they started. Run! Before it can 
consumes you! Run! Things are back. I have to be quick. That rock should be safe. Just make it to the rocket! God, the ship holds together. Getting close. Just need a little more time. I never thought I'd be leaving Mars this way. Lucas, Ina, Josie, Declan. This one's for you. Everything needs to be green. This is it. as it can be. Let's do this. Now, starting the countdown. Nice. 
Everything you are, just you alone. It's time, Shane. Time for what? Hush, my sweet boy. It's almost over. No, this is wrong. You want to release those things. They must be free so that I can be freed. You destroyed the Gaia engine with your corrupted hands. Please, Shane, help me. I'm ready. Mars sucks. 